I'm not really sure the role of chaplaincy has changed. You see, the role of chaplaincy is to be a sign and symbol of God's presence within a community and to share God's love as best we're able. What may have changed is the methods and the techniques for doing that. So I'm using more technology than I ever have before in ways that I never thought I would. I've had a steep learning curve and it's taking more time. But the constancy of chaplaincy is about sharing the love of God and the love of Christ in a community. And that hasn't changed. I have to be honest and say I don't really know how positively I have affected the community through my actions in this time. I see my role as sowing seeds and sometimes I believe I don't see the rewards of that. The reaping is not mine to do. So I have to just trust in faith that the good news I'm sharing will have an impact in the days ahead. I know that I do get positive feedback on some things and in some of the creative ways I've used technology, I've received some good feedback. I suppose a particular highlight was the Anzac service where we encourage girls and, and their um, parents and the staff to participate in Light Up the Dawn. And I received lots of good feedback about that service. So there's been things that we've done that I hope have had a big impact, but in the end, it's God who reaps the rewards. I think the idea of living faith in uncertain times is something that's not new. Ecclesiastes says there's nothing new under the sun. In my lifetime, I've lived through the Vietnam War, the Cold War. I've lived through the hole in the ozone layer, the recession we had to have, the Y2K bug. I've lived through 9-11 and the recession of 2008. I've also lived through a time in which climate change and overpopulation have been an issue. We've always been in uncertain times globally and personally, day by day, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We're affected by unemployment, homelessness. We're affected by illness in our families and grief. I think that what's happening at the moment, though, may be getting us to consider maybe we're not as in control of things as we thought we all were. And I think that that's something that causes us to think about our faith. How do we have faith? Well, it takes courage. It takes courage to admit that maybe the world doesn't revolve around me and to look to God who has made all things and who comes alongside us in Jesus Christ. And that gives us hope. So faith takes courage, but it also gives us hope as we live day by day, because I believe life is full of uncertain times not just 2020, as unprecedented as we might think it is. We always live in uncertain times, but God is with us and this gives us hope.